What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to change the wallpaper on your Android device. Now for reference, I'm using the Pixel 5 running Android 11. Now when it comes to Android customization, editing your wallpaper is a beginner step to altering the user interface. As always, I only feature products or services I buy or would like to buy. This gives the channel more credibility and appeal because we feature items that interest me and change the way we live. Don't have time to watch the whole video? We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Cracked. You can also support the podcast by downloading the Anchor app and making a small monthly donation on that platform. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find the YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Cracked as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk about how to change the wallpaper. Now for me, this works best by either finding a blank screen or a blank area on the screen. Next, we're going to tap and hold on that blank area. And you can see we have this dialog that appears and it has three options inside of it. Now these include styles and wallpapers, widgets, and home settings. Now I like to remind people that what you're seeing here may vary on your device if you have a different version of Android or if you have a different launcher pre-installed because of your phone's manufacturer. Now again, we wanna change the wallpaper, so we're gonna tap on styles and wallpapers. Now as you can see, this opens up a new window titled wallpaper and on the top we have a preview of our home screen with the wallpaper and its setup. And on the bottom half we have all our different wallpaper options. Now if we swipe to the left here, we can also see a preview of our lock screen with the current wallpaper. Now this is a useful feature if you want to see what a wallpaper is going to look like before you save changes. Now we can go back to the home screen preview by giving a right swipe. Now to change the wallpaper, we want to click on one of the options in the bottom half and I'm going to tap on come alive and that's going to update the bottom half of the screen. And you can see we have all these different options. These are live wallpapers by Google. But to keep this video simple, we're going to go with the first option and tap on that. Now this opens up another new window titled preview, which gives us a preview of our home screen with the new wallpaper. And we also have a lock screen preview option. So if we tap on lock screen, that's going to give us a preview of what the lock screen is going to look like with the new wallpaper. Now again, I'm going to go back to home screen by tapping on it. Now, as you can see on the bottom of the screen, we also have this toolbar in the preview window and we'll start with the left icon. There's an X there that basically allows us to back out, go to the previous window. Now, again, we do want to set this wallpaper, so I'm going to tap on it again. The next icon we have is a circle with an eye in it. And if we tap on that, it's just going to give us information about this wallpaper. So this is called Stepping Stones. It's in the Come Alive section and again, just give us more details about the wallpaper so the sculpture grows as you unlock your phone but watch out it wobbles when your phone tilts so this is a nice wallpaper to play with to me it reminds me of a fidget toy in a way it turns your device into a fidget device so if you tilt your device one way or the other this sculpture will kind of lean one way or the other just something fun to play with in your spare time the next icon we have here is a series of lines three to be exact and there's three small lines going through those as well and that just allows us to customize the wallpaper furthermore so for this one it'll allow us to change a the theme of the wallpaper so depending on the wallpaper you're picking you might have this option you might not uh, you might have different customization options but as you can see the theme color here we've got like a light gray it looks like we got a pink and then we've got an olive and then maybe a teal. So if we tap on these, you can see that the color of that wallpaper changes slightly to the color we're selecting. Now, I want to keep this simple again, so we're going to go with the gray. And then that last icon we have on the right there, that's going to be a check mark that basically just locks everything in. It's basically saying this is what we want to do. This is what we want to stick with. So tapping on that, you can see we get another dialog box and this one's interesting here. So the nice thing about the wallpaper here is you can set one wallpaper for your home screen and one wallpaper for your lock screen. They can both be different and that's nice because you don't have to have them both the same. 
Now for this video, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to do actually what I normally do and I keep everything pretty much consistent. So I'm going to set the wallpaper for the home screen and lock screen. And now once we do that, we just have a notification on there. Wallpaper set successfully that showed up at the bottom of the device screen. Just lets us know that this was all a success and it worked properly. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel and podcast. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can support us is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.